This is an ABC News special report. Good afternoon again, everyone. I'm David Muir at ABC News headquarters in New York. We told you we would come back on the air as soon as we learn more about that incident unfolding at LAX airport in Los Angeles. And we have learned more at this hour. Uh, we know it all began to unfold about 930 a.m. Pacific time. Of course, that's about 1230 here uh, in the east. A shooting incident at Terminal 3 at LAX. We do know that the uh, shooter himself uh, has been taken into custody, we are told. We also believe that a TSA officer was shot by that suspect wielding a long gun believed to be a rifle. At least three other people injured in addition to that TSA officer, though the extent of their injuries unclear at this hour. As you can see, multiple law enforcement officials and SWAT teams responding to the scene at this hour. Moments ago, I spoke with an eyewitness inside Terminal 3 who, who describes a a terrifying uh, several moments after he made it through security, uh, picking up his belongings, as so many of us do from those bins. Once you get through security, uh, he was picking up his belt, his shoes, was going to was going to huddle down underneath the, the belt there when he was told, you've got to run. And here's where he picked up the story from there. Leon Syrian, an eyewitness, moments ago. Leon, it's David Muir in New York. Thanks for joining us. And first of all, what did you see? Um, what I, what I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you more what I heard. I heard the gunshots. I was going to the security gate and I was picking up my stuff and I saw, I saw people hit the ground and scurrying and TSA agents telling people to run towards the, the gates. Um, then I grabbed up my stuff as I could and I ran down the hallway because that's where they were telling us to go. And I got part of the way down the hall and I had to stop. The TSA agent who was with me ran into a store, and I was just cowering in a corner. When I was cowering in a corner, a shooter came by, the, the one shooter that I saw. I don't know if there's more than that. He was carrying a rifle, and he looked at me, and he, he said, TSA, with a question mark. And I just shook my head, and he kept on going. So I was looking down basically down the barrel of a gun, and my life went right before my eyes. Oh, that is extraordinary, Leon. Uh, we're glad you're okay. And so from what you're telling us, it, it would seem as though, it would seem that this suspect was asking or, or would, was targeting workers uh, with the TSA. I, that, seems, that seems like a reasonable assumption. Uh, there was a TSA guy next to me, the, the one that ran into the store. He was hit. There was, there was blood coming from him. Um, but he didn't seem to be seriously injured. And Leon, just and help our viewers at home. You had just gone through security. You mentioned you were picking up your, your belongings, uh, what, out of the bins? Right, yeah, exactly. You know, you, you have to take your belt off. You have to take your shoes off. It's hard to run with no belt and no shoes. And that, that was the situation that I was in. And so my thought was just be put. But the TSA people wanted me out of the security area. That was Leon Sarian, an eyewitness who talked about uh, the gunman. Uh, he says once he got through security, was told to run. The gunman uh, then coming up to him and asking him, according to this eyewitness, do you work for the TSA? Uh, when he said no, he said the gunman then continued walking. He, he also told me he did not see them apprehend the suspect uh, simply because he was trying to hide and went on to say that the, one of the first things he did was to call his wife and tell her uh, he was okay. He's just trying to get home to Milwaukee tonight. And of course, we, we wish him well in his travels. Glad that Leon's okay. I'm joined by our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, here on the desk. And Brian, one of the things you and I were talking about is these checkpoints is where so many of these passengers are congregated at once. It's just a, can be a terrifying scene. It's the most vulnerable place in the airport. It's long been known as that by uh, authorities who have checked the security. There are supposed to be TSA teams that look for people that might have weapons approaching this area. But TSA officers, as you know, are not armed. They are really sitting ducks in a situation like this. Sometimes local police are there with backup, but the TSA, TSA officers themselves are not armed. And this has long been a vulnerability and considered the most dangerous place in the airport, the bottleneck that occurs right at security before you go through security. Looking at live pictures, Brian, of LAX airport and an enormous presence there. ABC's David Wright is also on the scene, and I believe he's on the phone now. Perhaps, uh, David, you could describe uh, what you're seeing. David, uh, this uh, incident has caused uh, a complete shutdown of the area around the airport. Uh, police have set up a perimeter about a half mile outside the airport. The cars that you may be able to hear in the background 
or cars that were presumably parked in the airport uh, when this incident happened. I've seen a steady stream of people coming out on foot, carrying their, uh, lugging their roller bag. Uh, no one is able to get in except on foot, and uh, it's going to cause a lot of delays for a lot of people, uh, to be sure. David, you described the passengers leaving that terminal with their luggage. Uh, we do know from authorities on the scene that they were told to race from Terminal 3 to get to another terminal to simply go outside. I want to bring in ABC's David Curley, who covers aviation. And David, you were telling us of an astounding number just in the last week of what these TSA officers face. Right, and it's, uh, it, it doesn't appear at this point that these stats have anything to do with what actually happened today, but uh, a lot of people show up at these TSA checkpoints with weapons, loaded weapons at that as well. Just last week, 39 weapons were confiscated at airports across the country, 32 of them loaded. I think what we're learning so far, David, about this incident, this seems to be very TSA-centric from what you've heard from the eyewitnesses and others, that TSA officers or officer may have been targeted by this uh, shooter. Uh, this, of course, as David Wright has just shown, has really impacted operations at LAX. Flights, uh, some are being allowed to land, uh, but even if you get on the ground, as you can see from these live pictures, the, the roadways around the airport are just completely clogged. Now, Terminal 3, where this happened, has a number of domestic airlines in it, including JetBlue, and JetBlue tells us that they had a crew there ready to take off. They were in a lounge and evacuated and are safe. So operations still a mess at LAX uh, after this incident at the TSA checkpoint, David. David Curley, our thanks to you. And David mentioned the only flights uh, that we're seeing at the airport are the ones now landing, a ground halt otherwise. You're looking there at a still photo, an image from Terminal 3 right now. That's believed to be the long gun uh, that was carried by that suspect. We knew the suspect is in custody. And as you heard that eyewitness tell me moments ago, uh, the gunman walking through the terminal reportedly asking people if they worked for the TSA. When this eyewitness said no, he kept walking. And uh, just as we come up at 2 o'clock on the East Coast, uh, a TSA officer shot by a suspect, at least three injured at LAX. We'll continue to follow this throughout the afternoon at ABCnews.com, and I'll have a complete report with the team on ABC World News with Diane Sawyer a little later today. Good day. This has been a special report from ABC News.